Hi y'all, she is seven. Okay, so lately I've been getting a lot of guys commenting on my videos and they're mad at me because I'm kind of putting them down because they don't want to pay for dates anymore. And I'm like, what the heck? So ladies, I got a solution for you. Next time a guy approaches you and he asks you out on a date, but he doesn't want to pay and he suggests that y'all meet somewhere and it's, you know, you're paying for your own food. If, if he lets you know that before the date even starts, go ahead and make the date. Go ahead and make the date and um, tell him you'll meet him there and get him all excited and stuff. Like talk him up on the phone and get him extra excited. You know, it's like, oh, we're going to have such a good time. Da, 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 da. You'll love this place. Da, da, da. Act like you're going to pay and everything, girl. Like, yeah. <sighs> and don't show up. <laughs> have them waiting there pissed off all excited from the whole week of talking on the phone about this date that they were just waiting for the whole week and don't show up don't show up and then when they get mad and call you and page you it's like you know what I didn't have any money I had to spend my last money on you know I I just didn't have I didn't go to the ATM, I, something's wrong with my account, so I'm just, you know, I can't go because, you know, <laughs> I don't want to pay, I don't want to waste, you know, my money because I don't know what's going to happen, And but you go ahead and enjoy, you know, the menu's really good, make sure you get the da 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 name some kind of dish or whatever, it's like, make sure you get the da 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 because I heard it was like really good and last time I went I had the such and such such, you know, keep talking on the phone and just like, but you enjoy yourself, okay, I'll see you, I'll see you another time maybe, um, we'll see, and then hang up, leave him hanging because obviously he doesn't understand a woman's time is very, very, very valuable. And if he's not going to even pay for your meal, he doesn't even deserve your company. He deserves to sit there by himself looking like a fool. And <laughs> if y'all have never stood up a guy, try it. It's very fun because it teaches people lessons, you know. First of all, you know, if you have already been told that you're paying for your own meal and you want to get even, go ahead and do that because... It will teach them a lesson. It will teach them a lesson. Okay. Okay. Everybody else is not going to be on their date. And he's going to be stood up. So, you know, it's, it's time to, it's, it's time to show them, you know, your worth. If you're going to sit there and pay for your own meal after they asked you out whatever comes after that you can't complain about because that first impression is how the rest of the tone of that relationship if you do get into a relationship is going to end up you're always going to be paying for half of everything and if you don't want that type of relationship don't even go on that first date just stand them up <laughs> uh, and I suggest that because these guys need to learn. They need to learn the value of company, you know. They need to learn that, you know, sometimes it is nice to pay for a woman's date and not expect anything in return. I, I saw in the comments some guy said, well, why should I pay for a woman's date and drinks and meal if I'm not guaranteed anything? I said, because first of all, you shouldn't be expecting anything but their company, you know, if you want a prostitute or a hooker you can go and pay the same amount as it costs to take a woman out on a date and get some sex don't say it's dating if you're expecting something in return because it's not you're just looking for sex so go for a hooker she'll tell you everything you want to hear she won't even expect to get fed and you know you can save your little money and give it to her and she'll give you what you want in return and it's just no big deal but when you ask a woman out on a date and you expect her to pay why should she pay when she can order a pizza at home or order Chinese food or take out at home and relax or go out with her friends and meet a man who can't pay you know that doesn't make any sense so a lot of these guys are going to find themselves alone 
or especially you know when you get past 40 when you get past 40 as a man and you don't have your stuff together and you're still um playing women it, it looks pretty pathetic actually it looks like oh my god he doesn't have his stuff together he's he's a loser you know mm -mm. and of course any man can look like they have something when they're living in a one-bedroom apartment not paying for anything and just live in the bachelor life of course they look like they have something but can, do they have anything to offer you you know do they have anything to offer as a, a future partner and a lot a lot of guys are going to be like well what do you have to offer Shh. we have a legacy to offer we have the we have the capacity to you know bring life into the world you know we have the capacity to make a home to decorate a home to make a beautiful home to cook to do all of this stuff you know if we choose to work we have that capacity too to bring more into the household if we choose but it shouldn't be expected and it shouldn't be demanded you know especially uh in this day and age because if, if if it is demanded for a woman to work and bring money into the house and da, 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 then it should be her choice whether to sleep with you whenever you feel like it or not. It should, it should be like, you know what? I don't feel like having sex this month. This month, y'all. I don't feel like having sex this month. So, you know, I'm bringing money in the household. I have half say. I have everything. I don't feel like having sex this month or next month or the next month because I'm going to be too tired because I'm going to be working a lot plus coming home taking care of these kids plus cooking so i'm just not in the mood ever so good luck <laughs> um yeah so if, if you can make your wife work and she's like never in the mood don't don't be mad because women are supposed to be out doing your job okay they're not and if you expect that of them then they're not going to be the type of wife that you expected of them so don't be mad y'all um and a lot of guys are are trolling on my videos but that's just how women feel you can't blame us for having high standards you can't blame us for that we can blame you for having low standards and standards and not wanting to raise your standards i thought we thought you were men we thought you liked rising up to challenges you know you act like this this is and that in front of other guys but when it comes to a woman you would rather buy a man a drink or your friend a drink than a woman a drink I mean, that's kind of suspect to me. I don't know. You know, if you if you brag and like I, you, you're all this and that and you're treating women like trash, you're not very much at all because that that's that's your character. Uh, any man that hates women or doesn't want to treat them right. It's not even worth your time. So ladies don't even bother with those. Those those are the kind of guys who I've seen and <laughs> die alone because I used to be a mortician y'all and a lot those those type of guys they're always in the nursing home alone with bed sores nobody came to visit nobody wants to take care of them their own kids won't even have anything to do with them because he they weren't around no woman had ties with him because he was a dog so he dies alone in the county nursing home if that or uh, you know they end up with no one when they die and that's that's how it is and they, and they learn that too late in life they think it's all good now but they learn that late in life they'd be like oh my god what did i do my kids won't even come visit me uh mm -mm. those are the kind of guys that usually die alone and like they're gonna try to say oh i was born alone da -da -da. yeah and they're the ones that be crying in the nursing home at night, calling out somebody's name. <laughs> Can't get to the bathroom. You know, those are the kind of men that die alone in nursing homes because nobody, they were never good to anybody. They were never good to a woman. They weren't ever good to their own kids. They weren't good to themselves. And that's where they end up. And the sad thing is they won't see it until it's too late, just like men. They never realize that they've lost something good until it's too, too, too late. And once, once they realize what happened, once they realize what happened, that's what they have to live with. You know, 
by themselves. They don't have anybody to take care of them. They're being abused in those homes. If they can afford to be in a home, you know, sometimes someone will just, you know, uh, they'll be in a homeless shelter or something or in the county hospital just to die. And nobody will care. Nobody. So y'all, y'all men have to remember that. And y'all put a woman down when y'all treat a woman like trash, when y'all abandon y'all's kids and stuff like that. Y'all are really doing that to y'all selves later on in life. Because everybody knows that there's that, that old man that, that's in the back of somebody, old lady's house, who um, was, is paid to take care of them. Or uh, just that old family member that has at least one person. Imagine if you don't have anybody. I have nobody. Where are you going to be? Think about that, y'all, because a lot of men, they no one will even, you know, come to their need when it's, when it's time because of how they were been treated by them. And men forgot to be men. Men forgot to be men. They forgot what it was to be a man. So when they realize what they should have and could have been doing, it's too late and it's just over. You know, moms, women, they got their children and their grandchildren and their nieces and nephews to take care of them when they get old. But who's God got? Nobody. They don't have anybody. And I'm just trying to be real with y'all. I have, I have seen countless men die alone, found weeks later decayed nobody came to their home because then you know didn't have anybody and you know no one came to the funeral maybe the kids but they weren't into it they're like okay well let's get this over with you know well whatever they didn't want to pay for it so imagine that y'all I mean, imagine that like men y'all got to get yourself together because once you realize that you done messed up with women and no women will, you know, you're not dateable, you're not suitable, and no women want you. You're going to you're going to be like, "Oh my god." And you're going to turn into the total opposite of what you what you are now. You're going to be like under some woman's thumb because you're going to be at that point when you get older, you're going to be so lonely and so desperate. You're going to you're just going to do whatever some woman tells you to. <laughs> and it's still in the end either you're going to be alone or you're going to be with the woman. That's just how it goes. You know, either you're going to die alone or you can be under some woman. And she's going to take all your social security check. <laughs> anyway, I'm just being funny, y'all. But um, if y'all didn't know, yeah, I used to work for the funeral home. And I've seen so many crazy cases like that. So just let y'all know. It's not something to play with, uh, especially... After a certain age, it's not something to play with, you know. Don't play with women. That's the one thing that people should know. You should never play with women's emotions. You should never treat them bad because it comes back to bite you in the butt years later. Okay, so y'all can talk all, all that trash y'all want in the comments. Yes, men, talk all that trash you want. But no, you're not going to be able to get the type of life you want without a woman. Especially not when you're old, you know. You're not going to be invited to any type of family events. You're going to be all the third wheel and everything. You're just not going to be, you're not going to be part of a family because you don't think it's important. You don't think a woman and a child and a family and a relationship and courting a woman the proper way is important. So your priorities are all screwed up now anyway. So, you know, maybe... Just maybe you can get it together before it's too late. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.